Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Total War Arena. It's been a little while since we've last been on Arena, to be honest. I just haven't been uploading it over the past couple weeks. I've been really enjoying playing other stuff. Not that I haven't been playing this by myself, I just haven't been making many videos on it. If you follow me on Twitter as well, you would have seen that I actually went ahead and passed over a thousand games on Total War Arena, which is pretty crazy. We're going to be coming up to 1100 very, very soon. And I think I have more games on Alexander at the moment than I do on everyone else combined which is pretty crazy I mean my win rate is anything special you know I think 70% is where you know it really really is good but 63% isn't bad especially at the high tiers considering as you can see my tier distribution is very much towards the later end of it and I have been playing a lot of solos as well recently but you know that's not going to matter soon enough we may do add in the 5v5 rank mode but I'll talk about that in another video if you don't know what I'm talking about and it makes it sounds really interesting then go check out their dev letter they went ahead and did yesterday or last week even uh, they talked all about the 5v5 rank mode uh, which they're planning on adding in which I'm yeah definitely going to be absolutely smashing and hopefully having a lot of fun so in today's video we're going to be playing this new premium spear unit uh, it's extremely fast it has three javelin tosses per unit it gets absolutely slaughtered by range fire but with multi ADs you can kind of dodge a lot of that and avoid the missile fire coming in so that's what we're basically just gonna queue up with and try and get some stuff done with this uh, unit i'm gonna be taking along the olympian trials just to go ahead and boof, boost that movement speed and keep that melee defense up a little bit higher as well so we'll jump into the battle on multi 80s now i haven't played a ton of multi 80s if we take a look at my commanders i think i've played what yeah 24 matches so he's probably my fourth fourth least played champion um, but he's really really strong now I think him and Vercingetorix are the strongest champions in the game at the moment uh, and I'm sure they'll go ahead and get addressed in the future just hopefully tone down a little bit I'm really hoping they won't just kill the champion because you know multi ADs definitely does provide quite a nice role so I hope they don't just completely get rid of him and kind of nerf him to the ground they just need small nerfs you know every patch here and there to kind of bounce things out very nicely again bringing Vers and Getterix down a little bit buffing Scipio a bit and I think Cavalry is in a great place um, same with the infantry as well you know just tone things down a little bit here and there and buff up the weaker ones and I think you'll definitely get to a good place in this game balance wise. I mean, I think light artillery is still kind of a big issue. It shoots extremely quickly and does far too much, much damage to every single unit. And I think that's my biggest problem with light artillery in the game, in the current patch, is that, like, this game is all about counters, right? You know, sword beats spear you know, most of the time in in situations pike beats all infantry archers can take away some lightly armored infantry spear beats cavalry cavalry beats archers etc etc um, and light artillery you know it obviously it does lose to, to cavalry if it gets caught but it just does so well against everything else on the battlefield that I feel like it really, you know, just needs to be toned down in some shape, way, or form. Um, whether, even if that's just to take away the knockback, because the knockback is really obnoxious on that. Because a lot of your units get stuck on the other units who did just get hit back when they take a scorpion bolt. So uh, yeah, I definitely think light artillery is a big issue. Archers are also really, really strong in this patch. And the protect the archer comps are coming back to like they were in closed beta. So we are back on uh, we are back on Shooterberg Forest. This is a pretty fun map. Not an amazing map for the... I mean, it's not a bad map for the for the for, for, for Axe Spearmen. They're not for Axe Spearmen. I can't remember what they're called. For the Spearmen I've brought. Because they are actually classed as light infantry. So they get bonuses much like barbarians do in the woods. So they go ahead and get 25 percent melee attack and defense i think in the woods which is huge um so you would definitely be trying to stick around and basically just running around the battlefield but don't expect any high like high tier uh, multi 80s gameplay right here because i'm definitely not the the number one multi 80s player only like 25 games played on him it's going to take me a little while to fully get used to him and you know know when what engagements i can take you what i can actually do what's my full like you know the quality of the hero because i feel like it does take a little while to kind of get that understanding of just what the champion is completely um capable of doing and in, in what they what they can do i've also been playing the spin with alexander as well because i feel like handle is a really good spell granted it's really glitchy right now so um a lot of the times you can anvil someone and they can then just two seconds later pop off a lot of their skills 
However, Anvil can come in really, really clutch, especially with such a fast moving, moving uh, infantry. Because if we take a look at their movement speed right now, I'm not even on break ranks. Uh, if we go into break ranks, um, we can see that I have 5.3 movement speed. We compare it to like the Greek cavalry, you know, they're not that much faster than me. Obviously, they're faster, but not by anything crazy. Is he going to try anything? No, he's not. And we're basically just going to take up residence right here. If anything does rush towards me, we can either run away from it or decide to push it. Or we can push it with a big clump of infantry we have right here. Again, taking over um, these forest areas are really, really good for this unit. I'm also going to turn up the music a little bit. It seems really, really quiet. Maybe that's just my headset, though. Taking over forest areas are obviously really beneficial for us because we can go ahead and use that bonus we get. However, you know, we do get killed very quickly to missiles, so we have to be you know, extremely careful. But it does look like we have, what, four players over here? So I think this is more than safe uh, to go ahead and push. And we'll try and take this watchtower right here and secure the vision. There we go, missiles. That's what exactly what we're trying to avoid. So let's just simply push back a little bit. We'll let our teammates move up. The dogs have to be very careful of the missiles as well. Um, that's for sure. I'm going to at least try and hope that he gives up a barrage, maybe. Because if he can barrage someone else, then we can obviously then not take as much damage. The cavalry's going in. Oh, the cavalry's just going to go and smash them. That is perfect right there. Okay, time for us to move in. And we'll use this uh, unit to go over as well. Try and come around the side. They should pour in there. And we should go in there. We should also be using our infantry charge, honestly, just to move around the battlefield. Because it is such a short cooldown. But we can we can use it just to simply move around. And if I would have maybe have used it already, we could have possibly have cut these guys off. So we're going to pop up here very soon. We've got our dudes over here. So again, this unit really isn't a unit you kind of want to be fully on engaging. I mean, I'm going to be doing it here just because we have such a good advantage. Oh, God, yes. Hello. Hello, Slingers. What are you doing there, boys? We'll push in here. Are you guys coming in? You are perfect. Let's go ahead and select our general. Let's charge him in. You guys need to go in there. That's perfect. Uh, do we want to fear anything? Maybe. I'm actually going to leave them Slingers now because the Slingers shouldn't be able to go up there. We're going to try and fear one of these... Uh, infantryman here and we're just going to try in and get in here and kill this cavalry make sure we use our new strike abilities we'll throw him right there more of our dudes coming in which is perfect we obviously have to deal with this germanicus coming over but let's just try and finish off this cavalry really quickly fear's about to run out on that unit so let's go ahead and pop another fear just try and make sure we route these guys and we, we are clumping up our units very you know, poorly right here but we kind of have to we're gonna have to turn around now probably form into a phalanx uh, in this patch, phalanxes don't actually cause for any fire anymore. So we can actually have a pretty gnarly uh, defensive formation here. This guy should not be there, though. Um, so yeah, we're holding them there. Make sure we kind of shuffle back. And this isn't really a good situation for us because, um, you know, we're not going to hold up against like a vengeance or something. He has he pop vengeance? He has. So we basically just want to back up there, get our infantry out of there, maybe try and swoop around a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're getting hit pretty hard. Honestly, I think we just want to leave this fight. Because this isn't going to look like a good one. I think I might go after the archers, which are situated right there. Try and chase them down. We'll go back on to break ranks as well as soon as we can. Yeah, this is not a good engagement for us. They've, they've dispatched a lot of units over here. So we're going to push back, try and deal with these archers maybe. And then either go to the center or do something else. I mean, I haven't even used like any of my jav javelin tosses yet either. Which is really bad because the javelin tosses do a lot of damage. Take this unit and go this way. I need to get very much in the habit of just clicking units no matter what. Or no, uh, selecting my units uh, through the number keys. Just like, even if it is like a painstaking process of being really bad at first, it will help out so much in the long run. Now, obviously, like, sometimes when I'm trying to select more than one unit, it's good just to, you know, use that. But whenever I'm trying to just trying to select one unit, I should be using the keys. And we'll go ahead and fear these guys, meaning that we should be able to catch them up. We don't actually have our abilities up yet, which is fine. You know, our charges or anything. You guys just go in there. And then you guys go in there. Like so. We don't have a charge back, but we can go ahead and fear this unit. And there you go. You just see, like, the power of Miltiades, you know, with catching these missiles, taking them out. We'll bring in uh, our one unit as well there. Yeah, so nice. Managed to take out a big portion of their archer forces. They've got their reinforcements coming up. But ideally, I just want to kill these guys and then get the hell out of here. Nice. Let's go and just fall back to the center. We don't really want to be in this situation. Even though he doesn't actually have vengeance anymore. So if he wants to push, he can. 
No, he's going to fall back, which is fine with me. We've got a lot of archers here as well. So I guess I'll stick around with these archers um, just to go ahead and uh, keep these guys safe. Again, they have missiles here, but I know there's not a lot of them. He should stay with us, honestly. Because I know this Germanicus doesn't have vengeance. And, um, you know, if we're just pushing, I can probably protect these guys quite nicely. Yeah, as you can see. Oh, he's actually coming at me. Oh, God. This guy's just, like, giving up now. But well, we'll just run him down. Obviously making sure that we keep this guy safe. That's a beautiful barrage going in right there. Hopefully, we'll just decimate these units. And we'll stay here. Uh, probably just form up into phalanx with this unit and throw javelins as well if we can. We get a, a small javelin toss off. Let's go ahead and bring around our third unit as well. And we'll probably just outflank these guys. Make sure we use our strikes as well. So missiles have also been changed not to deal much friendly fire anymore. Which is a pretty interesting change honestly. And we'll come in here and hopefully just be able to route these guys. We'll come around here. Obviously need to bring back this phalanx a little bit as well. I mean obviously we want to keep up with pressure but... Make sure that fear just resets on him. Um, and then this fear can go from this unit. I know we're, we're at 100 fatigue right now, but I think it's kind of worth it. Make sure we constantly use our strikes as well. As a cavalry player, I, I'm finding it quite hard to keep on top of my cooldowns on my strikes, honestly. Because the cav cooldowns are very, like, more situational. Uh, we'll just do that as well. So nice, managing to get some good kills. I mean, look at that, 4,000 aggression. It's the YouTuber luck right here. Whenever whenever I'm playing a game and I'm recording it, I, I tend to do pretty well. I guess because I'm thinking about my moves so much more. Um, and I, I hope this is fun to watch as well, because I know that I'm trying to obviously do a lot of micro and not doing as many cinematics, but I guess that's what the replays are for. So they are trying to push towards our base, and they are capping very quickly. We're probably going to lose this. Because no one else is close. I'm the closest right now. And I'm pretty far away, honestly. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I might get back here in time. And I have my javelin tosses as well. So it's not all bad. But they have a lot of reinforcements coming in. We just have to hope we can get here in time and get a javelin toss off. I ideally don't want to go through the woods either. Because it will slow me down. And I don't know if it's like a net negative. Like if I go in the woods, is it quicker to kind of take that direction or just go round? I think I'm going to get back here in time. Only just though. We have the archers rushing back as well. My charge is going to be back very soon. Oh, and he's running towards me. This is a, this is perfect. If he ran away, we might not be able to catch him. But I think we're going to. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Decap, decap, decap. Throw your javelins. Throw your javelins. Oh my god. Yes, we did it, boys. Fucking hell. That's what I'm talking about. We don't have our charge left, so let's bring back unit left. Let's bring them back. Go ahead and attack there. They popped hold the line, which is fine. Uh, we have feared these guys, so they are going to be running. And we're just going to come in the side here. Probably do some good damage there in the side. You guys are still fighting. Uh, we have fears left. We don't. Make sure we try and charge into these Falksmen. Uh, Falksmen will probably be doing pretty decent against us, honestly. Um, because they do get their bonus against the shields. And as you can see, our infantry do have some pretty massive shields on them. Uh, let's make sure we uh, constantly keep popping off these. Like so. Uh, that unit does have its fear back, but I don't think hold, hold the line's still on. Oh, we can actually route them even through hold the line, I think. Um, and we have our fear back very soon as well. Now, uh, again, I'm not really like 100% sure when it's good to take off break ranks. Because it is only a minus 14% melee defense. So, like, I feel like half the time is kind of worth it just keeping it on. Because it gives you such a nice bonus to melee attack. Now, the charge defect... It's kind of annoying, but I mean, I guess when I'm fighting like a vengeance, but like, I think like a lot of the times you take it off are just engagements you shouldn't be taking anyway. So you should be trying to avoid that. Um, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and cap their base then because we've got this. They should have a unit or two left remaining. I want to go get myself some cap points because this is turning into one hell of a game. I mean, look at that. 5,000 aggression, 2,000 decap, 2,000 support points. That's pretty juicy. And we haven't even used any of our... Well, we used some of our javelin toss there. What a, what a legit game. I'm, I'm very glad that we went ahead and recorded this. Uh, I'm hoping that their last spear unit is hiding somewhere. So I can go ahead and get a ton of, de uh, ton of cat points as well. And push for a, a naughty high score. And one of the beautiful things about this premium unit is that it obviously doesn't take any cash to re uh, replenish it. And it also goes ahead and... 
uh, gives 50% more experience uh, or rewards overall, which is juicy as hell. And I mean as well, like, it's not like this unit is, like, it's not like this unit made me get this score. I think we played very, very well this game, honestly. I know I'm shooting my own corn. Oh no, don't kill it! <laughs> don't kill it! I want cat points! <laughs> Don't kill it, please. I just want my cap points. I want to have a juicy high score. Cause we can get we if if we were, for example, to get the entire cap, we would get something along the lines of I don't know, like we can probably get a three thousand. Yeah, it's three thousand cap points. So we'd have like almost fourteen thousand score plus six hundred for capping. It looks like they're gonna kill it, though. So we'll just get in as soon as we can. And also, something if you didn't know, you actually get an additional six hundred points from just winning the game through capping. So if you're like if you can win through capping, it's obviously a lot better um, because you get them extra, 100, 600, them extra 600 points. Um, and I see a lot of, like, I think new people complaining about base capping when they do end up getting ninja capped. Uh, and to be honest, like, it's, it's, it's a big part of the game. You know, this is a strategy game. And if the enemy, like, are going to be losing on numbers, it makes sense for them to try and go for that cap. And if you are winning on numbers and you are winning the battle, then it makes sense for you to make sure that you can defend your base and scout. Scouting is so important. Are they killing that unit? Yeah, they are. That's unfortunate. But, I mean, what a game. What a bad boy game ever. Oh, wow. 6,000 aggression almost. You know, 12, 11,500 point. One of my better games for sure. And look at that. That wasn't that wasn't even a daily right there. That wasn't even a daily, and I got three thousand experience, one thousand free. So basically, like four and a half thousand XP. That's a that's a naughty game indeed. Five thousand aggression. I will take that all day long. Very happy with that. Um, and again, you can just go ahead and convert this so I can spend it. I did actually uh, have over a, hu uh, a hundred thousand free XP saved up from just messing around with premium units and converting my, my XP off like of my uh, my cataphracts and stuff. And I ended up spending, I think, something ridiculous like 60,000 of it on getting, if we go to Alexander, on getting this buff right here for 20 seconds of recharge time, which is a lot, don't get me wrong, on Anvil. I think I must have spent like 60, probably 60 plus thousand experience on getting it. It was just ridiculous. But now everything in this tech tree is leveled up besides the uh, the, the two seconds off of Wedge. But I just, like, there's just no point really doing that right now. Um, especially as well when they're adding the 5v5 rank mode. That's probably all I'm going to be playing uh, besides doing dailies. So again, and that's going to be locked at tier 5. So because that's going to be at tier 5, or at least that's what they're saying they're going to be doing, obviously that might change. You know, you don't really even need much of this anyway, which is, I think is good. Tier 5 or tier 6, I think is ideal for them because you get access to all of your abilities, you get access to all the units, and you also have a lot of interesting stuff. I'm surprised though that they're doing it on tier 5 because you can't get elephants until tier 6 unless you get a premium unit. Um, and they have arguably been talking about making it so that you can't use premium units in the rank mode. So again, that's going to be very, very interesting to see what they do because I can't imagine them just cutting elephants out of ranked mode. That seems a bit silly. So will that mean that they allow the tier 5 elephant to play or does it mean that they go ahead and bump it up to tier 6? I think bumping up to tier 6 would be a, a good idea, honestly. Um, I feel like you go from, at least Roman infantry, you go from, oh, this Roman infantry is okay to, yeah, this Roman infantry is really good. And you have you have a lot of class uh, di uh, diversification as well at tier 6. You know, you have access to a lot of the uh, good cavalry for the barbarians. You get access to the gunner charges, which are their best cavalry, uh, besides probably these guys. You get access to some decent war dogs, falksmen. Um, come into the mix and kind of hit their stride right there for the Greeks. You go ahead and get some better pikemen and stuff. You, get, you kind of level up with slingers, so they're actually pretty decent. Carthage, you obviously get access to the elephants um, and actually some decent cavalry as well because the Amazon tribesmen aren't that good. And then obviously the Romans, you get kind of armored legionaries and normal legionaries. I just feel like tier 6 would be a much better place for them to go down and uh, try and do ranked mode. And again, it doesn't take you too long to get to tier 6 anyway. 
you know it takes a while but nothing too long um, and I think that'd be a much better fit honestly for their ranked mode but I guess I'll see and find out what they go ahead and decide on doing if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below let me know that you want to see more arena on the channel and I will see you guys in the next one